Aloha, everyone. We are here at Captain Cook's in the Polynesian. The dulcet tones of the Hawaiian Isles floating in the air. We're prepared to enjoy an exciting meal. Now, there are some standard meals here that I know a lot of people have gotten over the years that I've heard about. I haven't tried any of them yet, so we're here to try them today. Um, we are trying, well, actually, we're only trying two of them. He said no to the pork nachos because she used to have them when they used a different crust and it always depressed her. Um, her being Lori. Um, um, so, we're doing the pork, uh, we're not doing the pork nachos, we're doing the Thai coconut meatballs. And we are doing the Asian noodle salad because it's got rice noodles in it. So I, I'm assuming it's going to be a cold salad. Probably. Yeah, which would be lovely. And this, so we'll try the hot meatballs over the rice and the cold salad, and it'll be a nice, refreshing way to kind of enjoy our, our break here because tonight is all about dessert. So, yeah, and there's going to be a wine and beer and stuff tonight, too. Okay. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. So, food. Yes. The, uh, the answer of the day at the moment. Um, so we're going to uh, let you see when the food gets here. Uh, the total we have for the two entrees and two soda uh, uh, fountain drinks was $33 and change. You don't generally tip here, so you're really just looking at that as a quick service. But we'll show you the food in just a short moment so you can see if you like it. Or actually, if you like it. And I'm wearing white pants. Wish me luck. All right, so the food has arrived. Uh, it was brought, uh, with my name called, etc., brought out to us. And you'll notice I'm taking a picture. It's on a purple allergy tray. And we got all the allergy order information on it. Uh, yeah, I already did that. Um, I have not taken the photos of what the food looks like inside out. It's, oh, wow. Okay, so first one I'm looking at is the Thai meatballs with the coconut curry. And it has three large meatballs with the coconut curry uh, sauce and the rice. So I'm going to give a taste of that, and we'll see what it tastes like. And then let her try it and then we will go to the salad which I'm also putting a picture in now. Wow. Okay, if I think it's Penang based curry. It is like eating how do I describe this? If yeah because it's a sweet curry. Okay. So it's got that Go ahead. It's coconut and sugar met a spicy um, meatball. It's very good. It's very interesting. It's not what I expected, but it does have a burn. Serious burn at the end. There's a lovely heat there. Yeah. It's a coconut curry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's really nice. That is lovely. Okay. It's gonna be nice. I mean, it's a Thai thing. All right. No, you have salad. I got this. Too. It's a chicken noodle salad. And I've taken a picture of it already. That's true. Okay. Got cashews and mandarin uh, oranges and tomatoes and noodles and chicken. I gotta find the noodles. They're there. Yep. Got some. There is no way I'm getting all of this on board. I understand. So we're gonna go. It's a little bit. There you go. It's so it's get random, you random veggies with. Um, Rice noodles. Rice noodles. There's an edamame uh, piece, corn, and that is not a veggie. And an orange. Thank you. <laughs> it is light. It's light. Good. It tastes awesome. There's chicken on ours. Yes. It is not. There's nothing fancy chicken. It's like boiled and seasoned. Not even grilled. This is this is like sous vide. Okay. Okay. And there are cashews in here too. I do. Yes. I have one. I see a few of them on the top. Yeah. The sauce is light. The sauce has um, has a, the uh, same citrusy kind of flavor, but it's not okay. sharp citrus. It's like oh, a nice. bright citrus. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's a basic. It's a, it's a standard, but it's light and perfect for a day like today. Yeah, to be honest. It is very fresh looking, very bright colors. It looks like there's some like zucchini noodles or something yep. in there. So I'm gonna try to get a little of. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I said a little of, not all of. <laughs> more than one bite's okay. This one might need more than one bite. So the dressing is definitely orangey. Um, nice crunch of the veggies. I will say this is one thing I don't like about rice noodles is when they get cold, they get stiffer. So they don't 
flow and bend as well as a fresh one it would be. And they're all broken. Yeah. I was hoping, I was looking for it's a long day. Mm -hmm. this, this is not long day. But, for what it is. Oh, it's got a little mustard in the sauce. I just got a kick of mustard. Okay. I'm still cash with it. I would put something on my leg because I already messed up. The cashews are sweet, and sugary. But it's nice, it's fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a noodle salad, not a salad salad. Which is in a lot of nice fresh options and they're very very nice. Very nice. These are good options. So um I would get either of these again, I think. Yeah. Um then soda, of course, you know. I didn't ask about any dessert options. But in a quick service, we've got dessert coming our way like crazy tonight, so we're not worried about that. Hi guys. So we are at Pecos Bill's Tall Toad Tall Tail Inn. I'm trying to get the napkins around too. Oh, okay. Um, hi. We're in the corner because it's safer that way. Yes. Um, we're very dressed up for Dapper Days. Yes. Um, my real boy, my real little girl, right now uh, wants to eat. So we have the pork, uh, carni the carnitas rice bowl, yes. and then the beef nachos. Yes. So the pictures of those will go right here, and we're going to give them a try. Shall we just, do, okay, toss them just off? I, I, yeah, I was yeah. wondering, what is that for? Is that just I think it's for both of them. Yeah, I, I, I there used to be a bar where you could pick everything you wanted on your own, including guacamole, which now you have to pay for extra. And I'm, do we want to just dip salsa on the side, or do you want to pour salsa on? I'm good with salsa on. Okay, so we're going to do salsa on too. It is, it is. So we are assembling right now, and then we're about to tell you what we think of the food. So, so. It's a boat. It's like grand It's a small boat. It's here, there we go, our side dishes. It's like salsa, though. Would you like salsa on this? Yes, please. Here, salsa-ing the chips. She asked if I wanted salsa, and I said, yes, please, and she gave us two. Two, count them two. All right, so, um, allergy fix. Allergy fix. And I'm going to try some of the uh, carnitas here. Supposedly a rice bowl. I see beans. I saw there is rice. Yes, I saw do. onions and, and it feels cold. Yeah, there's rice. Ah. Run away, carnitas. You can have a taste. Okay. Um, I'll have some. I think the salsa is what's the spicy. Yes. Well, it's all the brand on it. I yeah. expect that from the brand. It is. I expect it's somewhat spicy. There's a nice savoriness, a little vinegariness. Not super high vinegar, but a nice kind of a sharp flavor to that. Oh, hello. Hello. Stupid. Okay. Pinto beans are nice. Um, I asked for no sour cream because I'm not good with sour cream. Rice is like a standard almost cilantro rice. They came in sections rather than like when you think of like a chipotle where it's all assembled. But the flavor is good. Pretty much filled your up. Yeah. The meat is very moist. It's very moist. There's hardly any seasoning on it. There's salt and there's a little bit of the vinegar. And that's it. Yeah. It, it's not great. This has a little bit more. Well, it's spice. probably had, it's probably had the orange and then whatever it cooked it to get that citrus. But, but yeah, but it's not. Well, no, not all things is that spicy. Okay. Also remember, American palates. Um, <laughs> it's American palates. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's everyone trying to make it. So that's nice. So now we're going to try a nacho, and I'm wow. Okay, I There's picked a very heavy dense yeah, covered you got nacho. All the things. We got the cheese, the sauce, the beef. Oops. The beef and chicken options are gluten free. Who is with these or what? And it's cheese good. It's like taco seasoning mix. You know that kind of taco flavor. Ah. This is why you put your hands up. <laughs> um. Basic cheese sauce, not any dynamic flavor to it, but it's a good basic nacho. There's not a ton of filling or stuff, but it's tasty. It's Americanized yeah. nachos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be good for a basic meal. But the cheese, I, I think between the two of these, we will be we will be uh, sated enough. Yeah. Um, and how much was the total? Um, 
$29.29. Okay, so that's nach the nachos, the carnitas, a bottle of water. That was $29.29. Um, I already had a bottle, so I'm just going to fill later. Um, but that's it. So it's a nice, a nice good basic option. I know there have been some questionable uh, concerns about this particular venue. We also should have picked a non-yellow wall. I know this is. You glow yellow. I mean, she's always glowing in part. Right. Um, so, yeah, um, it's a nice basic, uh, nice good standard option. We're going to eat this before it goes cold. We are, uh, we've just visited the uh, Energy Bites, which is over by Tron, to try the um, passion fruit version of their isoform. Um, now, it does have a crumble that just says flour. Even though the uh, actual ingredients say there's no, that it be gluten safe, but it just says flour. And I asked her if she knew what kind it was and she didn't. So I'm going to let her try it first. We did it without the crumble, but here you go. All right. I like the foam. Okay. It tastes like purple. Okay. <laughs> well, it is purple, but... It's very light. The um, mochi underneath is a little grainy. Okay. Which was a surprise. I'm not used to it. Yeah. Mochi is usually a little smoother than this. Right. Um, the flavors are good together. They're very is light. It does have a little bit more creaminess to it. I don't know if I think that's the um, that's from the the foam. Okay. So it has a little more roundness in the mouth. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, so it's not it's not your bright citrus going to clear your palate. This is going to stick with you. Okay. That's what I got out of it. Cool. All right, so I'm going to try a taste right now. So the ube. Wow, it is really kind of grainy, chewy. The shell. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, The shell doesn't feel mochi-like enough, like ricey, chewy enough. The uh, flavor is really good. But the passion fruit... Um, and I'll, let me see if I can, so you can see, um, the ube flavor on the uh, purple, the, the foam is really nice. It's just the texture On the ube? You know, just on the grainness on the outside, yeah. And I didn't get this when I had the strawberry one. So, yeah. There is. Um, the other thing we got... It was the pineapple slushy. Going to be very careful about putting it over me because it's been melting. Here's so it's, it's got pop rocks. No, go, no, go ahead and talk. Okay. You got this. I'm just being. I'm, I'm trying to catch for your dress. Oh, this is kind of fun. No, the pop rocks are on top. We've been listening I to know. them as we walked Drop over. Down. Drop down. Okay. It's got pineapple Fanta, so you get that sweetness. Um, but there's a spice kick. I thought I saw turmeric on the list, and there was something else, but it's or chipotle, something chipotle. Matcha on top, too. And matcha on top. So I'm blending everything, and I'm going to let it melt a little more. I'm going to get her opinion real fast. I'm going to start by eating a little of the stuff on top, so it's about to fall off. I'm expanding. I wonder if that's where the pop rocks are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where the pop rocks are. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. Fresh pineapple on top with pop rocks. This is that bright, refreshing flavor. Yep. Not round at all. A little sharp. You're right. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a heat at the back end of it, which is I love. I mean, I'm, I'm all about the heat. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing as turn mine in and see yeah. what happens. But the pop rocks. I just had a little more. Of the ube foam and a little bit of the passion fruit. So I have stirred everything in. So I will probably not get the uh, crunch of the pop rock, but hold on a sec. Mm. I thought it was the glass cracking and it was a pop rock going off in the drink. Actually, once you mix that in, that is very mellow and very nice. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, no, um, without the chipotle, whatever creates the chipotle, the green tea, the pineapple, the pineapple fanta, all that stuff, it's a really nice mellow drink, but that bite at the end almost becomes sour a little bit a couple times. I'd probably, you, you're getting that too? Just, just a hint. Not, yeah. Not a hot, not a hot mess, but a sour. No, but it's almost a sour moment. Almost. 
the night. It's all sort of offsets the sweet. It's like yeah. It's a little sweet. So yeah, this, I stirred mine too, and it's um, yeah, this the sweet with the henna sour at the back. It's that kind of balance that I, yeah. I really like in my food in general. So yeah. I'm, I'm very happy about that. And I mean, pop rocks. It's true. It's fun. Pop rocks. So I believe that is going to be our last snacking treat. If it's not, we'll clip something in later. But uh, if you have enjoyed this video, if it's helped you figure out how to snack around the parks when you've been going around, especially gluten-free, please give this a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. And don't forget that we... I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?